Question number 10. Question number 11, Paul Eagle. Uh, Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Civil Defence. What approach is the government taking in order to form a response to recommendations contained in the Technical Advisory Group's review into the Civil Defence Response System? Mr Speaker. The Hon. Chris Farford. Mr Speaker, I have, I have been en engaging with various interested parties on this review since it was made available to me as the Minister of Civil Defence. Uh, we have identified that we work in particular with local councils as they largely deliver civil defence emergency management to communities. It's also a high priority for me to work with iwi on their participation in emergency management before, during and after an event. I'm also keen to work with my old friends in the media, recognising that media have a critical role to play in how we educate and inform our communities about emergency planning and in the middle of an event. I am aiming to discuss a draft government response with Cabinet around the middle of this year. Uh, supplementary. How will the Minister ensure cross-party involvement in the engagement process? Okay. Uh, today I met with a cross-parliamentary reference group. Representatives from all of New Zealand's political parties and Parliament were invited to attend, and I thank those parties for attending. Given its significance to New Zealand, I believe the public would be disappointed if politics got in the way of keeping New Zealanders safe in emergencies. I acknowledge the previous government also had a cross-party group. I hope that through this forum any legislative, legislative changes will have a broad support across the House. Uh, supplementary. What does the TAG review recommend in regards to working with iwi to prepare for responding to emergencies? Speaker. The TAG recommends changes to legislation to provide for iwi to work with councils. Iwi are often at the centre of responding to welfare needs, given their role at the heart of many communities. They are also able, as we have seen in Kaikoura and other locations, to activate marae and to host and care for large numbers of people. The recommendation is about how iwi and hapu can be better recognised and supported to undertake their traditional manaakitanga role in times of need. I look forward to engaging with iwi groups on their response to the TAG report. Question number 12, the Honourable Louise Upson. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker.